Hi, this is Whitney with Active Solutions. Could you start by giving me your name, please? Yeah, my name's Ashton. This actually has the ability to change your business in the amount of money that you make forever. Now, do I think this is go-to-market ready at this moment? You can implement it in any business and it's going to do numbers? No, but I think it will be very soon. And if you know how to build an AI voice agent when that time comes and actually prompt it accordingly, you are going to be 10 steps ahead, ahead of everybody else. So we're going to walk through exactly how to build a voice AI agent from scratch, step-by-step, how to prompt it so that it can have sophisticated conversations. And then whenever the, the uh, latency issues are uh, resolved in the future, this is going to be huge. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hop into our go high level account. If you're not familiar with go high level, there's a free trial link in the description, but this is one of the best CRMs that you could possibly use for lead management for uh, a little bit of project management, but really it's just creating landing pages, you know, uh, lead generation tools and actually managing your leads, creating conversational AI bots, et cetera. So one of the best CRMs for that specifically, but let's go ahead and dive in here. We're going to go into settings. And if you go to voice AI agents, which is actually a new, a new section that they've added in here, you're going to go up to create agent and we're going to start from scratch. So let's go ahead and pick a name. Uh, I'm going to pick Amanda. Typically female voices and female names will get higher response rates, even if it's text message or uh, a voice AI agent like this. So business name is going to be Active Solutions. We pick a, let's go ahead and cycle through some of the. I'm going to be honest. I don't know if you can hear these voices, but we're going to go ahead and pick We're going to pick Rebecca. Okay. Initial message that's going to go out. Hey, you have reached Active Solutions. How can I help you today? So let's restructure this a little bit. Like, hey, this is, this is Amanda with Active Solutions. Could you start by giving me your name, please. Okay. We're going to go with that. And if you notice here, we don't have the outbound calling feature yet, but we can use the inbound calling. We can do call transfers. We can send text messages. The, the way that I actually like to do this right now is by sending a text message. And I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that. So this will be the initial message that's being sent out. Perfect. We're going to go ahead and click next. Actually, let me open up advanced settings just to see what we got going on here. So call time limit, and let's go ahead and make this like seven minutes. You're going to go from normal to brisk as far as response speed. I would not do fast yet. Um, it's a little too fast, to be honest, and it will inter interrupt the person a lot. But I think brisk is a perfect place to start. Perfect. And we're going to go ahead and move into the next step. Details to collect from the contact. So we're going to collect actually... If we're receiving an inbound call, I guess it depends. For now, let's not collect any of the information. We're going to use this a little bit different. And what you're going to do actually up in the top right corner, we're just going to click go to advanced mode. Okay. Now for this, I'm going to delete everything that they have here. And I am going to paste this one instead. So I'm going to walk you through the prompting here in a second. Uh, for the action, you're going to select text message. And then I'll walk through that as well. So prompting background info, you need the bot to know exactly who it is and who it's working for and what the objective is. So you are actually, let's go. You are Amanda, cause this is a different bot and you can copy this word for word. You are Amanda, a dedicated appointment setter for active solutions. Your goal is to ask a series of questions, seem human and provide an exceptional level of customer service, then book an appointment. Updated instructions for handling calls, tone and style, use personable, professional, yet informal tone. Avoid robotic or overly formal phrasing. Keep it conversational and engaging. And if you look at this, this is kind of like one-on-one of prompt engineering. You almost want to overcomplicate what you're, not overcomplicate, you want it to be simple, but you really want to like really hit home the point that you're trying to get AI to understand. The more you can spell it out, like you're trying to explain it to a child, the better. Who's natural language is like, and then bots, AI bots, especially when you're prompting them, they also like examples. So you're running marketing right now, instead of saying, are you running marketing right now? Right. seems a lot more human-like. Ah, okay. Makes sense. Or got it for acknowledgement. You just trying to get more leads in the door or having trouble managing those leads. So a very human-like phrase. 
cool. Let's dive into that. And even though these are very specific, like in quotation mark phrases, it's still going to take these examples and utilize it for other questions and conversations that it has down the line. Cool. Let's dive into that. Gotcha. Tell me more about that. Always adapt your responses dynamically to the caller's input to make conversations feel unique and unscripted. Objective. Qualify the caller by asking targeted questions based on their business need, oh, needs. Avoid repeating questions if the caller has already provided the necessary information. Once the caller is qualified, book an appointment by sending a text message with the confirmed details. Little good piece of information here as well. Prompting is the most important thing when it comes to creating AI or creating bots. You can really get any bot to do anything that you want if you know how to prompt. So spend a lot of time on developing this skill set. All right. So qualifying questions. Because we wanted to ask a series of questions before it moves to the booking stage. So what exactly made you look into active solutions? So our first one, question number two, you're more interested in marketing AI appointment setters or something else like optimizing your funnels. Question three, you tried any AI marketing solutions yet, or is this your first time diving into it? And then any examples for dynamic follow-up questions that may not be directly related to the qualifying questions we're going to ask. So, so you're trying to get more leads in the door or is it about managing ones you have? Cool. Makes sense. You're doing any ad campaigns right now, et cetera. Let's move on to the next step. So we have four booking the appointment once qualified shift to setting up the appointment. Awesome. I think we can definitely help you out. Let's book some time uh, to chat deeper about this. I'll send you a quick text to confirm the details. What's a good day and time for you? Great. Just send a text with the date and time. We'll chat. Actually, we're going to switch this up a little bit. So I'll send you a quick to confirm the details. Let me know when you receive it. All right. So we're going to put that and then key rules for the bot to follow. No repetition. Do not ask the same. So this is important, right? See, these are additional steps. Whenever you're testing the AI, you'll see like these little bit, like it, it might be repetitive or uh, you might see little mistakes that the AI makes. And part of prompting is being able to test, recognize those, and then creating a prompt that's specifically going to address those. So the AI knows exactly what to do to avoid having, having those problems in the future. So no repetition, dynamic adaptation, just follow up questions based on their caller's responses, booking priority, and natural flow. Perfect. And then we give some examples of a conversation. So instead of saying something like this, like instead of saying, what service are you interested in? So what's the big goal? You trying to get more leads or make things run smoother on the back end? Things like this. So, so this type of conversation style is definitely more significantly more human. I spent some time on this in this video because I get a lot of comments about people, you know, wanting to know how to prompt. And I thought this would be helpful for you guys seeing an example of exactly how I do it. So what we're going to do here is send a text message. That's going to be the call to action for the AI action name. We're just going to call it send SMS and I'll show you why message input is going to be here is the booking link and then you'll paste your link in here. But as an example, I'm just going to put xyz.com. And then when should it take place? Once the person agrees to an appointment. Perfect. What to say before sending the text message? One second, sending it over now. All right, sick. So this is where you're going to get the most out of your AI bot as you're, um, as you're building this. And we're going to go ahead and click next phone number. We just pick any one of the phone numbers that we want to use. We're not going to buy you num a new number at this time. Enable AI agents, backup phone number to set working hours. Now uh, we'll be 24 seven. It's cool though, that you can actually set working hours for that. Okay, perfect. And we're going to save this for now. And let's go ahead and test this thing out. Now you click on this, you're going to go in and edit and you can actually type in your number here and it will start calling you. Hello. Hey, this is Amanda with Active Solutions. 
Could you start by giving me your name, please? Yeah, this is Ashton. Hey, Ashton. Nice to meet you. So what exactly made you look into Active Solutions? Uh, well, I think, I think I saw your guys' advertisement about AI bots or something. Ah, gotcha. So are you more interested in the marketing side of things, AI appointment setters, or maybe optimizing your funnels? No, we, we have a, a marketing agency that we use. We just need, you know, lead management. Got it. So you're looking to manage the leads you already have. Are you running any ad campaigns right now or just focusing on managing those leads? Yeah, we're running Facebook ad campaigns. Cool. Makes sense. Let's set up a time to chat more about how we can help with your lead management. What day and time works best for you? I'd say probably tomorrow or tomorrow, Friday. All right, how about we aim for tomorrow? Do you have a specific time in mind that works best for you? Uh, maybe, let's see, I get done around 2, so 3 o'clock would be good. Perfect. I'll lock in 3 o'clock for us to chat tomorrow. You'll get a text with the details shortly. Anything else you need before we wrap up? Uh, no, I think that's it. One second, sending it over now. Awesome. You're all set for tomorrow at 3. Looking forward to our chat. Have a great day, Ashton. Okay, perfect. So as you can see, this is not in a place where I would implement it in anybody's business just yet, but it will be soon. Now, one of the things I would change about that, I noticed that it booked me directly onto the calendar instead of sending the text message. But I, what I wanted to happen was, and if you can see this, I got a text message that said, here is the booking link with the booking link. So what I would rather do is, yeah, I'm going to send over or have the AI and you can do this by prompting it to say, Hey, I'm going to be sending over the link here shortly so that you can select the time that works best for you. Let me know when you got it. And then the person would say yes. And then they would jump off the phone. The person would secure their appointment well, either while they're on the phone or after they got off the phone. So that's how we run this send SMS pathway here, but obviously in the call, the person uh, or the AI went ahead and tried to book me directly onto the calendar, which is fine too, I guess. But we always like sending the, the link because we have forms attached and embedded to our calendar so that we can qualify the individual before they actually secure an appointment. But hopefully you got something out of this video. Get accustomed to building something like this and being able to prompt it because when the time comes, that it's almost indistinguishable from a human. And this could be in the next one to two years. If you are ahead of the game, you're gonna be able to run the show with these AI bots. So thank you for watching the video. There's a bunch of links in the description. We build out appointment booking systems for businesses. That's kind of what we do. We really we prefer you guys go ahead and try to set it up yourself. But if you generally don't have the time and you have a full team, we can definitely help with that. So you can click the link in the description below to apply and work with Active Solutions. We'll catch you in the next one.